Welcome to Tool Hut. This is Sam. Hey, we're going to go through a couple things today. I have a 2010 Ford Fusion that the shop has replaced the ABS module with a used ABS module. For some reason, and I'm not real sure, the IDS will not program it. I know that the IDS has become particular about some certain modules programming them used. But I'm going to show you how we go about fixing it. Stand by. Okay, the hardware we're going to be using today is going to be the Ford VCM2. There's going to be a link in the description to buy it from my website, toolhutusa.com. We're also going to be using another piece of software later on in the video, which I'll also put a link to, and we'll talk about that when we get to that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our IDS. I know I already let the cat out of the bag that the IDS was not successful, but I want you to see that it was not successful. So we're going to start a new session, because it's a 10 IDs pretty quickly. So it is not equipped with factory nav. Yes, that's the correct car. It pulls up the VIN and the mileage. Now, our ABS module is unplugged at this point. It's the best way we have figured out to get the idea is to write a used module. I'll tell you when we plug it in. So go to program module installation, pick the ABS module, turn the key off, install the new module. That is where we plug it in before we turn the key on there. Now it says it couldn't pull the as built data out of the module, which we fully expected because it wasn't plugged in. So we're going to copy this VIN number and we're going to go to www.motorcraftservice.com I'll put it up on the screen here. We're going to go to free resources quick guides module data as built put the VIN number in and then they just started this where you're going to put in a three digit code. Not case sensitive, so the module build data or as built data for this module is all the way to the bottom of the screen. So we're going to type in these numbers. So I'm going to minimize the screen. I'm going to split the screen here, so just simplify things. I know you can't see that I'm typing those letters, but I am typing those letters and numbers. I guess you'll just have to trust me. This is how I typically do them. So I'm pretty comfortable with this process here. I do not type this fast, by the way. I sped up this part of the process. I'm sure you didn't want to watch me type. After it's got all the information in here and got all the as built data in, we get a message that says it was unsuccessful. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close out the IDS and we're going to open up another piece of software. It's called Forescan, it's an aftermarket piece of software. I'll put a link to it in the description as well got a connector vehicle and this does a it IDs the vehicle and then it goes through a process of checking all the modules for codes automatically now I know we didn't check for codes in the IDS but trust me this code was in there so in our ABS module we have a B2900 it's a VIN mismatch code. I just want you to see what the description is. It's a VIN mismatch code and to correct it, it says to configure the ABS module, which you saw that we just tried. It was not successful. 
So if you were to follow the service information to, to tell you to put a replacement ABS module in. So in the Forescan, it's got a little bit different options than what the IDS has gotten. It's kind of the reason I use it. it looks like a computer chip. I'm going to go to the ABS module configuration as built data. I'm going to hit the play button down here. Gives you a warning about changing this data. So here is the as built data that is in the module. So we're going to correct it using the same as built data. And then we're going to do the write all function. It does say it was successful. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and recheck it for codes. says it was successful there. It does have the VIN mismatch code, so we're going to just clear the code here and see what happens. And we notice that the ABS module does not have any codes in it now. For all you skeptics out there that don't know, don't really trust the aftermarket tools, I don't either. So let's go back into the IDS. Let's we'll see if it's still got that code in it. So we're just going to open up this previous session because we've already been here once. I'm going to go to... I don't really need to do anything here, so we're just going to go up to self-test. Go to chassis braking, analog brake module. It'll run a self-test on the ABS module. shows it passed with no codes. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos like this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ring the bell if you want to be notified as they're coming out. Questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, all down at the bottom. Keep it cleaner. They get deleted. Have a great day.